Well, good morning again, everybody. Chaplain Joe back at you again. Today I'm covering with the, with the topic again of mastering your methods, but I'm going to be talking about how do you deal with sin and conflict. And I'm going to be coming at a Matthew 18, and I'm going to introduce to you or to some something you may have never heard before, so I'm going to give you time to process at the end. But we're going to talk about how do you deal with sin and conflict. And saints, if you're like me, have you ever heard of this verse where it says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in the midst of them. Now, Jesus is talking there, so really when we hear that, we say, I will be in the midst of them, meaning Jesus will be in the midst when two or three are gathered in his name. And a lot of people have used that as a prayer passage. But what if I told you that was not a prayer passage at all? That was actually a passage of how do you deal with sin and conflict in the church? Because if you go back and read that in Matthew 18, in its context, right above that, Jesus said, if you have a problem or if you're dealing with sin, go to that person one-on-one. So that's very key. So if you've got a problem with somebody, don't blast their problem on Facebook. Don't blast them on social media. Don't tell everybody in the church what's going on. Deal with that person one-on-one. That's step one. Then it says in step two, then if that doesn't work, take, the, take that person or take that person who's in sin or take that person you have a grievance with and take it before two or three witnesses. That way they can act as a mediator and they can deal with it. And the church, the whole entire church still doesn't know what, what has to know what's going on. And if that doesn't work, then it says, then you take it before the whole church and let the church deal with it. Okay. Then after all of that, then Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I'll be in the midst of them. Meaning what the interpretation of the context of that verse is, where two or three are gathered in my name, doing what? Not praying, but dealing with sin and conflict within the church or people who have a grievance. And Jesus is saying, if you do it this way, you do it the biblical way, I will be in the midst of their decision with the two or three witnesses or the church as they make a decision dealing with sin and conflict. Saints, that's the interpretation, that's the context. Now, why is that important? Because for years in the church, we have used this passage as a prayer passage, and what have we done? We've just, you know, wrangled up, you know, two or three Christians together, and we just touch and agree, and we just break out the anointing oil, as if as, lo as long as we get two or three together, to gather together, and we touch and agree, Basically, Jesus is in the midst of our prayer, and then basically Jesus has to do whatever we say because we touched and agreed and we came together. You see how we're using this prayer, or we're, first of all, we're using it incorrectly because it's not about prayer, but you see in doing that, can you see now how we're using this passage as a magic wand, as an abracadabra manipulating this text to basically get what we want in prayer? This, this is not a formula for basically prayer success. This is a formula to how to deal with sin and conflict within the church. I'm going to stop there because that's a lot to process, and some of you may have never heard that before. But this is really a sin and conflict passage and not a prayer passage. We can't use this as a magic wand to get what we want in prayer. And I'm going to talk about next week some examples in my life where people have used that, in, that the wrong way, and they didn't get what they want in prayer, i.e. it didn't work. So with that, be blessed and know that we can't just pray whatever we want. We have to pray according to the will of God. And we cannot manipulate God's word to get what we want. This is not a prayer passage. So with that, be blessed. Until next time.